Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Gmail account and more specifically, I'm going to show you how to permanently delete your Gmail account. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, why would you want to delete your Gmail account? Well, that's a pretty easy question to answer. Possibly somebody's snooping through your items and you don't want them to see what's inside your Gmail account. Or maybe it's just an old Gmail account that you no longer need. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. We're going to go ahead and walk through that step by step. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. It's going to be a really quick one. So first, what you want to do is go ahead and go to this website right now, myaccount.google.com. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave a quick link there. Once you're there, it's going to show a lot of information about your particular Google account. Now, one thing I want to note is that your Gmail is one function inside of your overall Google account. Once you're here on this section, this is on the mobile browser. You want to go to this section called data and personalization. So there's two ways to get there. Either it's going to be here on the top line right here where you can scroll back and forth. Or if you scroll down right here, then you'll see this line right here called manage your data and personalization. It doesn't really matter which option you use. I'm going to go ahead and click this blue line though for easy access. All right. So I went ahead and clicked there and then this drop down menu happens. And what you want to do is scroll down all the way until you get to this section down here. It's called download, delete, or make a plan for your data. In this section, there's a line called delete a service or your account. That's where you want to be if you want to permanently delete your Gmail account. I'm going to click there now. All right, so before we go any further, I want to let you know that once you delete your Gmail account, all the information is then lost. So any kind of old emails or old pictures that you have in your Gmail account are going to be gone permanently. So what you might want to do is go ahead and go right here to download your data. And that way it's going to give you an option to download information from your Gmail account before you completely delete your Gmail account. But that's up to you because maybe you don't want to save the information in there. But I want to let you know that once you delete your Gmail, it's gone forever. So kind of consider that closely. And Gmail is going to warn you about that quite a few times before you can completely delete that information. So moving on, there's a couple of different ways to delete your Gmail account from this screen. So if you use think other Google services like YouTube and you want to keep that and you only want to delete your Gmail, then you're going to going to want to go ahead and choose this top line called delete a Google service. However, if you want to delete all the information and accounts that are associated with that Gmail account, then you might want to use this option right here called delete your account. Let me go ahead and click on this one first and show you what that looks like. I'm going to click this blue line to delete your Google account. All right, next this password screen pops up. So each time that you're going to move through this process, Google's going to ask for your password a couple of different times just to make sure that it's you and it's not someone else trying to delete your Google account. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my password in off screen now. Okay, I went ahead and entered my password. I'm going to click this blue next button now. All right, so I went ahead and clicked there and then this screen pops up. And just as we had discussed, Google is going to warn you with a heavy warning letting you know that once you delete this, all this information is going to be gone. They do give you the option to download your data once again right here. And they're also going to give you a list of all the Google services that are going to be deleted. Let me scroll down and show you. Okay, so I went ahead and scrolled down and it's giving me a list of the items and services that are going to be deleted once this happens. So my Google Drive will be deleted. Gmail is going to be deleted. Photos, YouTube, Calendar, Google Play, all of that's going to be deleted once you agree to that. So if you're okay with that, you want to go ahead and click this box and this box. Once you've done that, then you want to click delete account. I'm not actually going to delete my account because I still use this pretty often. But keep in mind, this option deletes all of the services that are attached to your Google account. I'm going to go ahead and click this back button and show you how to delete just the Gmail account. Okay, I went ahead and clicked back and then here we are on the screen where once again, you can delete your whole Google account or just a Google service. So if you want to permanently delete just your Gmail account, you want to click on this line right here, delete a Google service. I'm going to click there now. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. And then as you can see, you can pick and choose which Google services you would like to delete. So if you want to go ahead and delete one of these, you just want to click on this trash can button next to the service you want to delete, which would be your Gmail. And I went ahead and clicked there and now Google's letting me know that I need to enter an alternate email address that would be attached to my Google Play Docs and Calendar in order to be able to use those. And that makes sense since I'm going to be deleting that particular email from Gmail that's attached to those services because you do need an email in order to use those. Once you've chosen another email address, whether it's through your Hotmail or Yahoo or something like that, enter it in right there. Then you'll need to send a verification email to verify that email address is valid for you. Then you'll be able to permanently delete your Gmail account through this process. But I, once again, I'm not going to delete my Gmail permanently just because I still use that pretty often. But that's the easiest way I know how to permanently delete your Gmail account. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.